Hey everyone, today I'm going to be solving this problem I saw on CyberMath's channel, or a community post. It's the square root of x minus a is equal to just the square root of x minus a. So, in the original equation, he said that a was a parameter, and I would assume that makes this a parametric equation, and I'm not super familiar with parametric equations, so... I'm just going to ignore that. And instead, we'll be solving this like a quadratic. So, to do that, we're going to start by squaring both sides to cancel out our square root. Square both sides. The 2 and the square root cancel out. And we're left with x minus a equal to square root of x minus a all squared, which expands out to be equal to, uh, was it, x minus 2a root of x plus a squared. Does that, check it out, negative a times negative a is just positive, yeah, okay, we're good. So getting, getting this little, um, I guess, binomial fully expanded out here. We now want to bring all the left-hand um, terms to the right-hand side to make this a quadratic. So subtracting x from both sides cancels out our x, add a to both sides, and rearrange the terms to make it like a quadratic. And we have a squared minus 2a root of x plus a that's equal to zero because we canceled out all the left hand uh, left hand side terms and now we can just plug into the quadratic formula so uh, I'll do that up here uh, first let me yeah l let me write the actual quadratic formula since we're um, solving we're, we're gonna be solving with respect to a there there is a square root of X here but I don't know what we do about that so we're just gonna we're gonna say a is equal to since we have a here I'm gonna use capital letters to um, denote the rest of the coefficients. So we're going to have negative, and then we're going to use capital B this time, plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So now we just plug in our coefficients. So negative B would be, well, negative 2 is our coefficient, but that's already negative, so we'd have positive 2. So positive 2, we'll say a equals positive 2 plus minus the square root of negative 2 squared is just 4. Um, minus 4ac. So a in this case is 1, c is also 1, so it'd just be 4 minus 4. All over 2a, which ultimately gets us So now we can simplify this down. 4 minus 4 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0. 2 over 2. So we get a is equal to 2 over 2, which of course just equals 1. So in the um, the original community post that I found this in, it was give, uh, we're essentially solving for their, their intersection point. And as far as I understand it, a parametric equation, or yeah, yeah a parametric equation, you add a parameter which sort of shifts your function's graph over some 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 amount, in this case a, and we're trying to find for what parameter do these two equations es essentially intersect. So given that I just found a is equal to 1, we can, uh, that looks like I canceled out, that's whatever, 1. Given that a is equal to 1, we can say that, well, we, we plug in 1, and x would also have to be equal to 1. So under the uh, the parameter that a is equal to 1, x would equal 1 for these two points to, or these two functions to intersect. So let me, let me, <laughs> let me pull up this channel. And here you go. Does he have a, he has a link somewhere to the, um, to the Desmos graph. So here, here's the graph, and 
setting, uh, as you can see here, A is set as 1. So we have square root of x minus A, so this is our the right hand side of our equation. And then we have the full thing on the left hand side. And of course they intersect at 1, at x equals 1 that is, with our parameter being A. Now if we, since, since I found that A is, you know, 1, we can I guess sort of assume that, the, well, we know for, for a fact that this is one value for which our functions intersect with the, the parametric, I guess, operator or something here being one. And I don't know how you would find any other values such as like two, three. I do, like, yeah, yeah. We, we spread it to 2.2 .2 and they just diverge further. Now you go to negative one. Uh, let's see, do they intersect? Um, yeah, they intersect at 0, 1. So that makes a whole lot of sense. So this is sort of solving it. We, we just found one, one parameter here. So we can safely assume that A is probably bounded between negative 1 and 1. I found one of them here. You could also probably, uh, well, I mean, I, 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 plus minus one, so you could have negative one, sure. But that, that's me sort of solving this equation with um, not much knowledge on parametric equations. Yeah, thank you for watching.